Hello, and welcome to Beast and Valleys. I'm James, and today we are playing Deep Rock. Alright, so we just left off where we decided we are going for Bradley. At least right now, because we only have three choices. Bradley was one of them. Another one was like Nathaniel and Albin. I don't know if I was Nathaniel or Albin. For lack of a better idea, I travel along after Bradley. Why is that a bad idea? I don't get that. Maybe I can find something to read. You like books. You said yourself that you were a bookworm. Wow. Oh yeah, she's a bookworm. She's not gonna be like. Oh, well, maybe she will. You never know. People are complicated. I was expecting to study with a few bookshelves, not two floors of books. Have you ever been to a mansion? They always seem to have giant ass libraries. Yeah, that's a lot, isn't it? He walks from shelf to shelf, sometimes staring, sometimes running his hands over the spines. Looking for something in particular? Hmm? He moves his head in, a, in little jerks and twists as he can scan each row. It's funny. I didn't really think of you as someone who reads for fun. I am not. Like, this is the most reading I've done all year. <laughs> and I am proud of that. Hmm? Well, yesterday you talked about being on your school's football team and things like that. I didn't see you as the buck type. I don't see you as the football type. A guy could kick a ball around and still know how to read, you know, which is exactly what I just said about about Janet being a bitch and liking to read. Although I did question her first, I quickly realized you can do that. You can do whatever you want. Yes, but... I watched Bradley continue to move over, pulling books out of their positions on the shelf and then pushing them back in again. Reading book works better if you open them. Actually, I'm not looking for a book. Ow. What are you looking for? Think about it. He's me. <laughs> I got I gotta marry myself a Bradley. Oh my god, I love him so much. What a wild con. Ow. Why didn't you say so? I can help. What? Trying for book switches is a good start. But you should also rap on. Rap? You mean like tap? On the back of, of the shelves to see if it sounds hollow. Same with panels at the bottom. Then look along the- Why do you know so much about this? Along the pillars for cracks or the themes where the wall might hinge. There could be a trigger on a statue up there. But- <laughs> This is so- So much talking of that terrible voice. But- <sighs> We shouldn't poke at that without permission. Bradley stares at me. Have you done this before? I'm scared. I used to read a lot of girl detective books when I was little. Female detectives? Now, girl detectives, like teenagers or kids, usually walking together in a group or a crime solving club. <gasps> Are they gonna make a crime solving club? I thought Jenna was supposed to be murdered at this point. Like, she needs to go. I gave her an annoying voice because I thought she was gonna be murdered. And of course, there are kidnappers and smugglers and hidden treasures and everybody gets tied up and oh, oh, it's one of those kind of books. I had an adventure club when I was little. What's sort of club? Oh, just boys on bikes getting to places we shouldn't and hunting for junk to decorate our shed. And nobody got tied up. That's how you did it wrong. 
That would have made your club way better. Did you ever find any secret doors back then? No, we stuck into some abandoned buildings. But usually because the doors were broken. Well, anyways. I can help you luck for a bit. Poor guy. <laughs> like, her, like her in, because we all her. So like her head voice is like just me. It's the same as Bradley's voice. I just realized that. That's awesome. Oh, poor guy. He must be really bored. Still hunting for secrets is a fun thing to do. Sorry, still hunting for secrets is a fun thing to do. And this house is big, big and old enough that it might have some. We poke around the library for a while without finding anything. So, um, do you actually read for fun? Not really. Same! I love Bradley. He's my, he's my, my everything. <laughs> Too bad. You will miss out on all the adventure, exciting library action. Um, we can scare you me? Library action? Can I call my sister about that? My sister is a librarian, actually. Fun fact. Shout out to my sister. Hi. You know which one you are. <laughs> Don't have any library action. That sounds weird. Don't do it. I spend a lot of time in libraries. <laughs> nope. I mean, when I needed to know things, I had to look stuff up. Yeah, they have the internet for that nowadays. <laughs> and you went to the library? <laughs> they did the They had the their days, too. Well, you can't trust them. Yes, you can. To some extent. People will say anything. That That's true, though. My parents got me an encyclopedia. My parents got me an encyclopedia when I was little so I could look up the answers to my own questions and stop asking them all the time. That's gonna be me as a parent. Gonna just devolve a book in my job and be like, figure it out yourself. I knew you were a clever girl. <gasps> clever girl. <laughs> I'm so sorry you had to even do that. Last night over dinner, I thought he was a total bore. He was just passing time, always checking his watch, waiting for the date to be over. But now he seems a lot more friendly and sort of interested. Sort of interesting. Hopefully interested too, if you know what I mean. I mean, we're in the same bed. Like, literally, and nothing happened. I'm disappointed in you, Jen... I almost called it Jennifer. Janet. Oh, Jen. You little sheep. Maybe it's because we're not under the pressure of a date. Anyway, well, this is the longest date ever. Seriously, if they are. So you can act, just act naturally? But if he hates going on blind dates, why does he keep doing it? To find you. Or more realistically, me. Controlling you. I noticed that he stopped moving around. And is now just staring at one bookshelf. One of the bookshelves. Either sentence would have made sense, so I should have just moved on. There's something strange about this. Huh? Huh? That's better. It's a big old traditional house. So I had to bubble over. It happens. It's all designed to look impressive. So why aren't there more traditional old books? Where's the Dickens? Where's the... Oh. <laughs> You'll find that soon enough. Where's the Shakespeare? It's a big library. We haven't got all the way around both floors yet. You probably just aren't seeing them. I pause for a yawn and a stretch. <gasps> the most obnoxious, like... <gasps> Jen is a classic lady, if nothing else. Anyways, if you don't mind, I think I'd rather find something to read now. Whatever. Same. I'm like, what are you, you read? I'm not going to. Take a look around and snag a volume entitled The Lady of Limridge and, and peer inside the cover. A mystery! <gasps> Perfect. There's been a matter! Alright. 
one critique of this game so far. Real talk. There has not been any more. I'm so disappointed by that fact. Like, I like the dating sim part. But, like, let's spice it up with some murder. Like, Janet needs to go! Bradley continues to wander the shelves, restlessly searching for secrets that probably don't even exist. Well, good luck to him. I'm going to enjoy my book. What does that mean? Late. In the afternoon, we gather at the grand entrance. Everyone appears to be in good spirits, awaiting the resolution of our situation. Lynn steps. Why did the music stop? <laughs> Lynn steps forward and licks his lips. Ah, oh, in preparation for something, I'm sure. We have been moderating. Wait, I'm sorry. I had to lick my lips. <laughs> Again, the character. This is how you do it as an actor. Like duh. We have been monitoring. We have been monitoring the problem for several hours now, and the output remains steady. S so there's no sign of the force field glowing. This shouldn't get any worse. We don't want it to get. I mean, yeah, we don't want it to get worse. But like, we're more concerned about it getting better. I think because we can't go anywhere if it doesn't get better. As there's no visible heat damage to the surrounding frames, we experimented with introducing various objects. Physical contact so far has not produced any adverse reactions. So I, I just had the image of him like literally like standing there with an apple throwing it at the door being like, hey! <laughs> the field of- sorry I just banged into my table. Uh, that wasn't the mic table, so hopefully it doesn't make sound there, but you might have got a little shaky for me. The field appears to act like a membrane. Oh, we're getting a little science-y. Lynn's is a smart science-y one. That's why he has glasses, I'm sure. They didn't think too hard about the design, I guess. Membrane varying outwards when a solid object is applied to the force. However, small amounts of water But you can get rid of that. But you can get rid of them. Ever. <laughs> to shunt the overflowing without disturbing the system system's integrity has lacked successful success. <laughs> can you just turn the whole thing off? Pull the plug? <sighs> no. We... Turning off the power is not an option. <laughs> Looking over at Bradley beside his wing, I notice he seems a little pale. Clammy, even. He has his arms folded around himself, hands tucked inside his jacket. I is he sick? What do you expect us to do? We have to go home. Bradley's not feeling well. Now this is an, the interesting part. I believe we would be able to bypass the barrier with Faraday's shield. What? I, I don't understand anything that comes out of this man's mouth. Like, I just don't. But he has a nice little like, V-neck thing on. I like that. Uh, however, we don't have enough metal on hand to build a human-sized Oh, is that the thing that like goes around you that like stops all cell service or whatever, like the cage thing? I don't. I don't. I don't know. Like, don't take my word aside for the fact. I am not a scientist. An active electromagnetic field generator. Oh my God! Stop talking. <laughs> May be able to produce the same effect. I need to tune them to our own bioelectric. So much bioelectric aura. If you approach the field so that I can measure the discharge, no. Tiny beads of sweat 
are breaking out of his forehead. Whose forehead? My forehead? I mean Bradley's forehead? <laughs> Not my forehead, my forehead is clean! <sighs> well, we have to do something. This is how you do it, isn't it? This is how you do it, isn't it? Do what? This is how you kill them? Bradley? What are you talking about? Well, this seems like a great spot to stop. <laughs> we just ran out of time anyway. Join us next time on Basement Buddies to find out what he is talking about. Luckily for me, I don't have to wait. I guess it's a scene immediately. Sorry. I'm not like bumping in your face. I'm stopping here. Have a great rest of your day. Make good choices. And remember, I just said that. I messed it up. I'm out.